Ah, the doorbell. The I'll get that. I'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> she started it. I would say it was a hostile relationship between Matt and Lizzie most times, but there was always, you know, moments where they would kind of come together and be nice to each other and realize that ah, oh, we really are family at the end. There was always like a moral to the end of of a sibling story in Lizzie, for sure. Abracadabra! It didn't work. The episode where we get handcuffed is is really I, I, that's what I was thinking of. Honestly, was that's the pinnacle of brother and sister fighting with each other and then making amends at the end. I hope little brothers of the world look up to me. I also hope they use it as an example. Um, I've been told many, many times by other people who grew up watching the show that their little brother was exactly like me, and therefore they could feel Lizzie's pain. So I, I feel like maybe I, I executed the role in a, a wholesome, correct way. Uh, if if I got that kind of feedback, um, overall I think it worked. This is the best day of my life. The best part about playing Matt was. Probably just, I got to do stuff which a normal 11, 10 year old, whatever, got to do that was fun. I got to like rock climb, I got to jump on a giant trampoline and then hop onto a, a Velcro wall and get stuck. And that was just a normal like Tuesday for me. So that, I think the best part was just getting to do all the wacky, crazy stuff. I think my favorite storyline from the show was from the episode between a, a bra and a hard place. Ah! Because the A story with Lizzie going and shopping for a bra was so polarized towards girls. Ew, that's disgusting. They had to like equal it out somehow with the B story with Matt to make it still appealing to the boys who were watching. So it was a kung fu episode, which we had David Carradine, uh, who is uh, uh, Robert Carradine's uh, brother, uh, and he was revising his role of Kung Fu. Your father tells me you wish to be a martial artist. Yeah, Jet Li sidekick. Wait, 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 watch out! And we got to do Kung Fu and he taught me karate and Kung Fu and I got to do all the famous lines from the Kung Fu movie and there was a lot of jumping involved and a lot of slow motion and breaking things and that was, I think, probably my favorite storyline for sure. The doorbell! I'll get that! Ah, the doorbell. The doorbell. I'll get that. I'll get that! <laughs> Literally, that was the only line I, I must have said a thousand times in the episode. Ah, the doorbell. I'll get that. And the writers didn't really add too much to each of the, like, ah, the doorbell, like, do it this way, do it this way. Ah, the doorbell! I'll get that! That was just me having free reign to do whatever I wanted to with a single line. I heard you spent the whole day with your cool little brother. I love that little guy. Who do I keep in touch with the most? Maybe Clayton Snyder. I see him somewhat regularly. Uh, we did a movie together, actually in New York. I had a little cameo in a movie that he was the lead on. And Bobby Carradine I see every once in a while. I saw Carly Schroeder, who played Melina on the show. We went to the 15th anniversary screening of the movie over at Disney, and that was cool to see her. Oh God. Where would Matt and Lizzie be now? Um, Matt would either be in jail, or like an internet billionaire. I feel like it's one or the other, no in between. <laughs> Nowadays, you would think that the beard would throw it off, I have no idea how people still recognize me, but they, they tell me it's like, it's right in here. It's right right there, and that's all it takes, apparently. But uh, <laughs> it, it happens every once in a while. It used to be way worse. Like, I, like during the height of the show, we tried to go to Disneyland once. It was a long day. Really long day. <laughs> how do I think that Lizzie would be different if it aired nowadays? compared to them with the onset of social media. Just the whole climate has, has really changed throughout entertainment too because it's, it's not so much even like watching a show, there's so many different levels of just marketing within a show and 
uh, interacting with people on the show. You are beautiful. You have great friends. Gordo and Miranda are wonderful kids. You're you're smart. You're decent. You're compassionate. Here we go. Pep talk number you're 243 from, from the Mother Daughter Handbook. I feel like Lizzie kind of caught a, a kind of a magical time right before it hit the internet age where it was more, I don't know, pure in a way. I don't know if that makes sense. It was more untouchable, if anything. Like you didn't see a lot of the behind the scenes unless it was uh, the bloopers at the end. Honestly, I hear so often that people come up to me and say, that was my favorite show growing up, or that Liz McGuire was my life growing up, which honestly is a really special thing because it's one thing to be on a show that was successful and did really well, and it's another thing to be on a show that really impacted people's lives and is something that they can look back on and, um, and really reminisce and think about really good times. And that's something really magical. I'm really, really glad every time I hear that.